What's good? Welcome back to the channel. Double A have here. If you like the videos, please do press the like button, share, and subscribe. I'm going to get right into this one. It's about uh, Jeremy Lin, obviously. Now, before I even start talking about it, let me give my, my story on Jeremy Lin. Um, being a native New Yorker, born in Brooklyn, obviously I'm a Knicks fan. Um, I'm a New York fan across the board, except for uh, when it comes to hockey. Um, but that's a whole different story. But, yeah, I've, I've read my New York teams. I mean, if you're out there asking or probably wondering, like, oh, well, then who do you like? You know, are you a Nets fan now? Because not, obviously the Nets moved to Brooklyn and I'm from Brooklyn and it's now the Nets got a powerhouse and stuff like that. The answer to that question is I'm a Knicks fan first, but I pull for obviously all teams New York. Um, that's just what it is. Like, for instance, I'm a Giants fan. I'm not, I'm not a Jets fan. But if they're just playing, I do want them to win unless they're playing against the Giants, obviously. Same goes for the, uh, the Mets. I'm a Mets fan. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I do know how great the Yankees are, but the Mets are my team. And I pull for, the, for the, um, the Mets, obviously, all the time. And when the Yankees are playing, I want the Yankees to win. Now, in the case of the Subway Series, I wanted us to win. We did not win. The Yankees were stacked. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Back to my main point. So I remember very vividly when um, Jeremy Lin had his – um, rock, like meteoric rise to fame, um, and uh, playing for the New York Knicks in the absence of uh, um, a true point guard. One, two, uh, Carmelo Anthony was out, and I believe Amari might have been out for like a, a game or two, or two in the beginning. Um, but anyway, you know he he rose to the top. Um, you know very quickly and was able to make um a lot of money off of that. Uh, signed some contracts off of that. Had a, a, a I'm not gonna say a great NBA career, but definitely a decent NBA career. Um, he got opportunity after opportunity. Um, obviously he just you know needed to work on some things, and he he could have been better, but maybe that was to, maybe he reached his ceiling. I, you know I don't really know about his work ethic and the work that he actually put in. Now I do know to be an NBA you have to put in work, so I'm not questioning whether he was putting in work. I'm just saying, was he putting in enough work to take his game to the next level or was he just limited uh, with his physical abilities? But now that's that's a, a topic for a whole other day. Um, but anyway, life in general is about perspective, uh, brothers. And there's a Bible uh, verse um, that pretty much like points it out. I mean, there's actually several Bible verses, but the one that I'm going to say is... Uh, when I was a child, I did childish things, and you know, now that I'm an adult, um, I put away such, I, I did away with such childish things, and I'm some, I'm, um, you know, pretty much, you know, summarizing that. That's not actually word for word the the verse, but you get the gist, um, and that's pretty much just saying that you know, when I was a kid, my perspective was that of a child. So I did things that fit in that perspective, in that scope, and now that I am no longer. Um, viewing the world from that lens, obviously, I don't do those things anymore. Now, life is about perspective and where you are and where you're going in perspective to certain things or many things for that matter. And I'm bringing this up because obviously, uh, many of you know, Jeremy Lin was saying that uh, he was called coronavirus um, during one of the G League games. Well, first and foremost, if you didn't know, Jeremy, Lee, Jeremy Lin is back in the NBA. He's on the G League for the Warriors. Um, he was out of the league last year. Um, actually, I think he was out of the league once Toronto won the championship. I think he's been out of the league since then. So now he's made it back to the NBA uh, in the G League. Obviously, I think he's in his early 30s. So, you know, maybe he's got some left in the tank to offer an NBA team. Who knows? Um, based off of how he, you know, exited the league, uh, I think the G League is going to be... I think the G League is going to be where it's at. Oh, and if you guys saw that, obviously it says buy Neo stock. Yes, continue to buy Neo stock if you know anything about stocks. Um, they had just released their earnings report, and they they missed by 116%. Um, and I forget the other metric, but I, I still have faith in them. Um, from what I was reading, they did... Um, for the year they did they did uh break the bank um as they should have but uh you know continue to uh, dollar cost average on your stocks regardless of if you're buying the or not but anyway back to my point so 
Um, yeah, I, I think Jeremy Lin, I think it's pretty much it for him. The G League is going to be his final um, stop. I don't see him going up again, but you never know. Some teams might get desperate for um, a big name, um, you know, just to you know spur up some, some, uh, some news. But anyway, yeah, so Jeremy Lin was saying how he was called, you know, coronavirus or Chinese virus or whatever, and how that's it. That's racism and yada, 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 yada. Now, before I even play the video, I'm just going to say some things. If someone calls the coronavirus the China virus, do I have an issue with it? Now, before I answer that, no, I'm not Chinese. Um, you know, and no, I'm not any kind of Asian um, at all. So let me just say that. But, but I don't think that should matter. The coronavirus started in Wuhan, China. That's a fact. Now, whether it was created, which I believe it was fucking created, um, you know, allegedly, allegedly it was created, or if you believe that it wasn't created and it just fucking happened because of a, a, a bat, someone ate a bad bat or whatever, whatever, that's up to you, okay? Regardless, the shit came from fucking China. So... If someone says the China virus, is that, you know, blatant racism? Is it is it even racism? No, I can't I can't call it racism. You know? I, I, I can't. Well, first before I even say all that, y'all already know how I feel about or not even feel, y'all know my thoughts about racism as a whole. Um, there's no such thing as racism because there's no such thing as race. It's just created and it's about different power power structures. Um, when you're in a country outside of your own, you don't have any power. So so then you just have to deal with other people exerting um, power over you. And, that, and that's it. And if you don't like it, you have to go back to your own country. Now, and, and when the, as it pertains to, quote, unquote, um, America's original people, AOP, what you would call black people, we don't have a country to go to, you know? So, because this is our country. So we don't, you know, we can't just up and leave. Well, these other demographics, they can, but they don't because they know that they stand more to, uh, to gain by staying here. Um, so, and, and for when you boil it down, you know, even if they do think that um, the China virus is quote unquote racist, they're making more money here anyway. So they'll just stay and deal with that nonsense because with that, they still have power because they have a, they have a national backing over in China. So they know shit won't really get buck buck because if it does, Obviously, China not going to let that shit slide on their citizens. You know, again, when you juxtapose that to, quote unquote, black people, there is no freaking, there's no na- na- nation, nation backing us. So, you know, America wants to get buck buck with us. We don't have no big brother to call that's going to come and look out for us. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we can just call Africa. Like, hey, well, Africa, you know, they're not treating us right, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, let's be real. So anyway, um, I don't think that that is uh, racism to say the China virus. Um, the shit is from China, you know, I know when Trump said it, everyone was all up in arms, but you know, Trump's could have said anything and the nigga could have said the sky is blue and motherfuckers eyes would have been fucking tearing up. And I'm not saying that as a freaking Trump supporter or Trump fan or anything like that. It's just, again, looking at things objectively. Like if you let people start to dictate to you how you should feel and what you should think based on certain things, then you're, you are a fucking sheep. Period. You have to be objective. A man thinks objectively. That way a man can make sound decisions. All right. And come to 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 resolutions. Some peaceful, some not peaceful. It is what it is. But uh, so the, the Breakfast Club, they're going to um, Angela Yee is going to read what uh, Jeremy Lin said. Then, she, then uh, you're going to hear uh, Steve Kerr speak. And then I'm going to chime back in. All right, well, Jeremy Lin says that he was called coronavirus on court, and they are now investigating uh, exactly what happened. Now he put out a statement. So he was called coronavirus, not Chinese virus. So again, like maybe even if they would have said China virus or whatever, I don't think that's racist. And then to, to be called coronavirus, I don't think that's racist either. You know, that, that the coronavirus is, is a virus. If someone call you the coronavirus, how's that racist? You know what I'm saying? 
because the shit came from fucking to, from China, but they didn't make reference to China. They just called you coronavirus. So I guess you are the reference, but like I don't think that's racist. You know, I, I think that's you playing the game. People are trying to you know come at you, throw you off, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really see that as racist. That's like saying uh, like I don't know like the um, syphilis. Obviously, the Tuskegee um, syphilis experiment that took place in Tuskegee. Now, if someone was to call me syphilis, should I take that as a racial slur? No, hell the fuck no. Are there some freaking some cool ass niggas out there that probably would try to in this day and age? Hell yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if now all of a sudden you see uh, BLM trying to be like, oh, you know, they, they called me syphilis, so that's racist. And she's like, no, no, you know, come on, man. No, no. And just basically talked about uh, certain things that have been happening. He said, I know this was disappointing some of you, but I'm not naming or shaming anyone. What good does it do in this situation for someone to be torn down? It doesn't make my community safer or solve any of our long-term problems with the racism. When I experienced racism in the Ivy League, it was my assistant coach, Kenny Blakeney, that talked me through it. He shared with me his own experiences as a black man, stories of racism I couldn't begin to comprehend. Stories including being called the N-word and having things thrown at him from cars. He drew from his experiences with identity to teach me how to stay strong in mind. He was also the first person to tell me I was an NBA player as a sophomore at Harvard. I thought he was crazy. The world will have you believe there isn't enough justice or opportunities to go around, that we only have time to pay attention to one group of people at a time, so we all need to fight for that spot, that the people you see hurting other people that look like you on the news represent an entire group of people, but this just isn't true. Mm. So he didn't detail when or where the incident occurred, but Steve Kerr, Um, said that he would like for Jeremy Lin's complaint to be thoroughly investigated. Here's what he said. I uh, applaud Jeremy for his words and and echo his sentiments regarding uh, racism um, against the Asian American community. It's just so ridiculous and obviously, you know, spawned by many people, including our former president. It's just shocking. I I don't know. I, I just I can't wrap my head around any of it. But I can't wrap my head around racism in general. I mean, we're all just flesh and blood. Me neither, Steve. Well, who who was it? Was it another player that called him that? All right, so I'm not going to let any more of this play. You heard uh, Jeremy's, Jeremy's uh, excerpt read by Angela Yee, and obviously you just heard uh, Steve, uh, I almost said Steve Skirt. Uh, you heard Steve Kerr speak um, his, his two cents about it. Now let me get back in and tie this all in. So the perspective that I was talking about. When Jeremy Lin first got into the NBA, uh, well, when he first got to the New York Knicks, and then he he got to play in the game where everyone knows his story. He was living on a friend's, like, couch or whatever and was almost out the league, you know. Um, But obviously he got to start playing in the Mike D'Antoni offense and then the rest is history, right? But So my, my question is, was it racist? Um... When, 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 when the race, when the, was it racist when you rose to, to stardom, Jeremy Lin? That's my question to you and to, and, to, and to all these other people out there. Was it racist when you rose to stardom? Because you wouldn't have rose to stardom, in my opinion, if you would have just been another um, quote unquote black dude. Um, those performances wouldn't have catapulted you to uh, to stardom like they did you know but because you were asian quote, quote unquote asian american you got a lot of um, attention a lot of press um a lot of endorsements than if you would have been quote unquote black that's that's just what it is so is that reverse racism is that good racism? When they held up the signs in the Ma- in Madison Square Garden that said Super Nintendo, when it said Super Nintendo on the on the cover of Daily News, was that racist, Jeremy Lin? Super Nintendo. Hmm. Was it racist when you were? skyrocketed into to, to famedom and stardom and and uh because you were Asian was all of that racist too. 
I don't think so. I don't think you would call it racist. But again, like I said, you know, you call it racist now. I get it because your perspective has changed, especially in the climate that we live now where everyone is fear mongered damn near to death on a daily basis. Um, and it's all put in front, in front of us, you know, where we should be, you know, oh my God, uh, you know, people are freaking infringed upon my, my rights and, you know, everything's racial, racial and shit like that. You know, no, I definitely expect it. But so, you know, that's pretty much where I leave it at, you know. Do I agree with uh, Jeremy Lin? No, I don't think that that is racist. I- I'll go as far as to say it's not racist. If if someone is to call it a quote unquote uh, Asian American, well, Jeremy Lin is Chinese, so we could just say Chinese because you know if you're talking to him, you're talking to a Chinese person. So if someone wants to say China virus or um, coronavirus, is that racist? Um, no, I I don't think so. Now, if Jeremy Lin wants to say he feels that is racist, that's a whole different story. You know, that's uh, feel versus thinking. Feeling versus thinking. I'm going to do a video on feeling versus thinking, too, to elaborate more on that. But, um, yeah, no, I don't I don't go off the feelings. I go off what I think. I do not think that to be racist because the coronavirus is from China. Period. Um, like I said, if someone wants to say, oh, syphilis, start calling me syphilis because, you know, blacks were experimented on in Tuskegee with syphilis. And that's but by me saying, oh, well, that's racist. No, that's not fucking racist. It's not racist. That's what happened. That's that's the truth. Um, all right? It's not racist. So, um, and again, you know, I didn't see him yelling the race card when he was on the, the winning end of it. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. If anyone has anything to say, please leave it in the comments. Um, I'm interested to hear what everyone else, everyone else's thoughts on it. Now, I do know I'm going to get a lot of uh, emotional people out there that's going to be like, oh, well, it is racist. No, no, no. Look, if you want to come into this channel closed-minded, then, the, you know, this ain't the place for you, all right? This is for people with open mind uh, that are willing to see the world objectively. And again, you know, I, I'm open-minded in opening up the, the comment forum, you know, open up the forum so that way you guys can comment. Now, I, re- I, re- I expect and will respect uh, the comments that come, you know, objectively. Um, you know, just keep it real, you know, real straight. But anyway, that's it on that. Peace.